That is the presence that appears in between the two people. The presence appears. And when the presence appears between the two meet, me and you, two meet, one body and another body, and the presence appears between the two, and the presence the power of the presence, the power of God, the presence of the Spirit, it triggers the love that is inside you and you begin to feel the way you feel. That, that presence is responsible for triggering you. And when that presence is not there, there's only two pieces of meat looking at each other. You may say, okay, we're not connected anymore, or the, the magic is gone. The presence only appeared there for one simple reason. And the reason was that you get triggered and you discover the love within yourself. And you discover that you are the one you're looking for but you're projecting it on the meat. You're projecting it on another person. And then when the presence disappears, then you have no attraction to the other person because it was never the other person to begin with. It's your own self. And the other person simply is a reflection of that. You're always looking at yourself. You're always dealing with yourself because there is only one here that appears as many. Okay. Maybe tomorrow I talk about acceptance, self-acceptance. It's 11.35. I want to give a little bit of time for questions and answers. Uh, anybody has any question? You want to raise your hand. And some of you, I don't see you, so you're welcome to write on the chat box, and then I, I will talk to you. Okay, Margie. Hi. Hi, can Hi. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good. Thank you very much for the lesson. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, I want to go back on the earlier part. Okay. This day, uh, when you uh, explained the upbringing of the child, I totally understand it. Um, um, do you think um, it's uh, possible to bring up a child not with all the the punishment and the rewarding and um, um, what was my second question and um, or do you think um, it's it uh, a part of the path we the, the search we have yeah it's uh, answering let me answer the second question and then I go to the first question the second question, it is, obviously, if it happened the way it happened, it was exactly the way it was meant to be. It is a sleepy dimension planet, and it's waking up to itself, and it's recognizing its sleepy patterns. It's going slow, but it's going. So the second part, yes, it is possible, to to do that but the old model has to be destroyed and put out the marriage union is obsolete the family unit is obsolete it just doesn't work it never worked and it won't work and now we can see its collapse a man and a woman they're not necessarily supposed to be with each other all the time. That's an idea. It sounds wonderful, but it's just not the way it is. 
we're attracted to different people and we're meant to be sexually involved with other people if we wish to, not because we cannot. So this marriage union, this system that we've been brought into is not working. It has to be and move into communal living, tribal living, the village. And children should be brought up by the tribe, by the commune, not by parents. Parents cannot attend to them. They can be attentive because they're out there making a living. Moms cannot be attending to their children all the time in the modern world. They don't have the support. It doesn't work. So we have to let go of the old model and let the new model to come in. Then it creates possibility for all of this. And of course, as we're enlightening and we're awakening, then we understand how we communicate with our children. But first, we also need to wake up. Okay? Yeah, okay. You're bringing up a new subject, so... Yeah, it is, it, yeah, it is a different subject because it's all connected to each other, so it's not one thing, it's vast. But the old, the old system doesn't work. This unit of, you can see it doesn't work. How many couples do you know, do you see that they're together? Yeah, that's right. It's it, oh, it's drastically changing. It's becoming single parent deal, which is overwhelming for the single parent. Look at the moms, single moms. They're angry, they're tired, they don't get rested, they feel insecure. Look at it, look at their life. Or new families with a new dad or a new mom. Yeah, or, siblings. yeah, mostly I say single moms because normally it's the woman who's left out with the child. That's, you know, that's why I'm referring to it. There are some dads who have the child, but it's tremendous amount of pressure on them. And it's just not working. And we can see the result. Look at the current time of the world. That's the result of a system which is not working and it's on the verge of collapse. So basically you're saying you have to go back to really, really ancient times when there was a tribe, uh, a village, looking after each other. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And everyone's looking at everyone. We're only talking about children. What about our elders? Look how abandoned they are. What do we do with them? They get older and what do we do? We shove them into some nursing home and we get rid of them and not want to look at, deal with them anymore. But in a communal Society, everyone's taking care of everyone. Everyone's together. Everyone's contributing. No one's left out. Everyone's cared for. And we need to go back to that. It doesn't have to be a village in the middle of Amazon, but it has to become a communal a new way.